let's talk about burnout and the future of Doom Eternal. So I have had some friends that have felt a little burnout and players as well, YouTubers everywhere. And I just want to talk about today, while there is actually a light at the end of the tunnel, maybe hit some things that we hadn't thought about before. So it's, it's not all doom and gloom. It's no gloom and all doom, obviously, haha. But let's just talk about this, why there's more to it than that. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. So we're gonna talk a few about a few things today. We talk about breaks, motivation, frustration, and that light, all right? So let's talk about breaks. By all means, hey, it, it, this goes for anything. This doesn't have to be just doom or just anything. It can be like chess or whatever else you do. I don't know, if you are feeling burnout, you don't have to play. The whole entire point of a video game is to have fun. So if you are loading up your computer and you're kind of dreading the whole process of playing a game, just don't waste your time. Take a break. Don't waste the time. Nobody's going to get on to you. I'm not going to. I'm going to say, great, that's better for your mental health. Go for it. And you might even come back better. Because like, how many, have you ever been in a situation where you're playing and you're playing like crap and then you get tilted and then you play even worse, but you keep playing because you want to like send a message to the demons? It's not worth it sometimes. Take a break if you need to. And if that break is a week, hey, that's fine. If that break is a month, hey, that's also fine. Just do whatever's healthiest for you and don't force yourself to play. Now, look, here's the thing. I get that you have to grind and push and practice to be able to get better at the game. That makes sense. But if you're dreading it, don't do it. Take that break. You know, kind of tying in with motivation. So motivation is a big thing too. And you have to understand there's two types of motivation. There's intrinsic and extrinsic. Now extrinsic comes from the outside. Like, hey buddy, you did a great job, keep it up. And intrinsic is more of this is coming from myself. This is my inner worth of doing this thing. And that is why I do what I do. So we also need, we need to look at the intrinsic side of things first. Anyway, intrinsic motivation comes from within yourself. This is something that you want to do and you are driven. Extrinsic is great because when we're playing the game and we see all the Twitch chat and the YouTube, they're congratulating us. Good job. You're doing awesome. That feels good and you want to push further. But what happens when that's not there? What happens when you're in your room by yourself at night? You're ready to blow off some steam, play a little Doom Eternal. Well, that's your intrinsic motivation right there. You have to dig deep and find that reason that you want to play. It can't be. Listen to this. All right, please. It can't be for anyone else. You can't play Doom for me. I can't play Doom for you. You gotta do it because you deep down love the game and love the series. And when you do that, you're gonna have a lot more fun with it. Now, the best thing to do, take both of these and put them together. Find that inner drive and push with it. And of course, if you need a break to renew that inner drive, just like we talked about a minute ago, that's great. But when you can combine the inner push along with your friends or the chats or whatever it might be, and you put those together, you'll be really motivated. And on a really good day, you'll feel awesome and you'll do great. But not all those days are going to be good. Some days are going to suck for whatever reason. Maybe it's personal stuff. Maybe you're just not playing that well. And then when you're doing not so great, you just have to remember not to get tilted because, hey, when you're tilted, you suck and you don't play as well, honestly. Find that motivation. Now, we also have to talk about frustration and goals to tie in to the breaks. Remember, if you're a casual in this game, by this point, you've probably gotten like 23,000 hours. So you have to understand that some parts of the game you may not like as much as others. You may have frustration during that Terrace the Bod double archfile master level deal. You know what I'm talking about if you played it because it's burned into your psyche and you're never going to forget it. You probably dream and have nightmares about it at night on those ultra nightmare runs. And it can be frustrating when a bug happens and it hurts your play. But as I've always said in the past, have that bug documented if you can, report it to the discords or whatever you want to do. Just be constructive criticism. Bring that constructive criticism about it because that's how things get done rather than the yelling and the shouting and the screaming amidst all the frustration, even though it's tough. Now, set goals for yourself. This is a big speedrunning thing, of course, setting goals, but it really goes for all of us. Set those tangible goals. I want to do this thing by this time. Don't just say, I want to get better. Say, I want to improve my chainsaw routing, my ammo management. A smart goal is the term that you want to have. And find something that is just tangible that you can pick out and say, this is something I can measure with metrics to know I am getting better or I am dropping off and I did a whole combat analysis if you've not seen it you got to check it out to tell you what you're going to want to do to get better 
Find those goals, and if you don't have them right now, take that break. Use those goals, push forward to that intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, and work them all together. Now, what would it be, all of these points I'm bringing today, if it was not fun? Fun, 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 like SpongeBob says. First and foremost, this is what a video game is for. If you're not enjoying it, you're wasting your time. So now, I just want to say this. I'm not ever going to make fun of you for playing on skill one when I like Nightmare and stuff. You shouldn't. You should not pick on people for that. But at the same time, you want to push yourself as far as you can to get the biggest enjoyment out of the game. When I played Dusk, Sarah Miedo Intruder Mode with quick saves was what I wanted. That's how I pushed myself, but I didn't want to do Dusk Mare or the one hit kill. Ba basically is what it is, more or less. It's a little more than that. But push yourself as much as you can. Maybe if you're on skill one, try Hurt Me Plenty and so on and so forth. But above all, have fun with it. Pushing yourself can be fun though. I mean, lately, look at me. I don't play Ultra Nightmare as much anymore because I don't have as much time in a day to play Doom like I want to. That's just how it goes. So I want to make sure I get that experience from start to finish and just enjoy it. So I do Nightmare. That's what's fun to me. I still get that challenge. It's not the same as UN, obviously. But I still get that challenge. I get to try out some cool stuff, experience it from start to finish, maybe get the extra lives if I want to, or if I don't want to, just run the arena again, use saving throws, super weapons. Don't use super weapons. Don't use chain gun shield. So much stuff you could do to spice it up, even as a console player, if you don't have modding. You just have to make sure your fun is at the core front and the utmost part of this whole thing. Now I told you I'd talk about a light at the end of the tunnel, right? Well, at the time of this recording, if you're watching this a year later, well, yeah, it'll still apply. QuakeCon is just around the corner. I mean, honestly, hey, look, I'm just, just here, just sit down and listen to me on this real quick, please, okay? This is a great time to be a Doomer. New games are probably in development. Its software's got cool stuff. We're getting master levels out that everybody wanted. Just more Doom stories are there to be told, as Hugo was saying before. This series has been alive for almost 30 years now. 30 years, that's three decades. And if you say that's old, you're calling me old. I'm just kidding, you can do that if you want to. So if you need to take a break for a week or a month, don't sweat it. It's been here 30 years, Doom ain't going anywhere. It's here to stay. Out of all the games out there, everybody makes that joke. Doom is eternal. Well, the series has been around for 30 years. We, this is a great time to be a Doomer. There's so much content coming in the future. I'm sure there's new games coming because Doom sold like, what, almost half a billion dollars in the first year. It ain't going anywhere. It's here to stay. And even if it was going somewhere, you got 30 years of content to go back in several different Doom games. Yes, Doom 3 for all the Doom 3 fans out there. I've never played it myself, so that's that. I just want you to just think about a few things. Take those breaks if you need. Find that intrinsic motivation. Combine it with the extrinsic. Get those frustrations out of the way. Hit those goals that you can extra just measure explicitly. Have fun with the game first and foremost. If you need a break, take it, of course. And just look at the light at the end of the tunnel. Doom has been here for 30 years. Out of all the games out there, it's not going anywhere. So if you need to take a break, you do that. Doom will be here waiting for you. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think about this. All right, I'll catch you later.